This is Monterey Bay, known around the world for its beauty. The bay itself, with blue or green water rolling gently onto the sandy beaches or crashing wildly against the ragged rocks of the coastline, and the tree-dotted hills that surround it are fascinating gifts of nature. Monterey Bay is also home to an astounding array of wildlife, ocean life fed by the richness of the deep, cool water, and land life moistened by the seasonal rainfalls and the ocean fogs. Casual observers can see more than 300 species of birds here at various times of the year, 33 kinds of marine mammals, and thousands of different fishes and invertebrates that thrive in the rich waters. As many as 8 million people a year, at last count, visit the Monterey Peninsula to enjoy the beauty and the resources of the bay. They look for sea otters in the kelp, study the harbor seals that sleep on the beaches and the rocks during the daytime, watch their noisy cousins, the sea lions, that collect around Fishman's Wharf and the Coast Guard Pier, and sometimes see whales and dolphins performing very close by. They can hear seagulls that fuss as they hunt, see graceful pelicans soaring over the water, sandpipers that run to and from the surf like a bunch of ball bearings rolling on the beach, and majestic egrets that sometimes dance for us. It is such a natural wonder that the bay was designated a National Marine Sanctuary in 1992 to extend extra protections to this jewel. Since then, the state of California and local communities have enacted more restrictions to protect plants and animals along and in the bay. Still, Monterey Bay has problems with people interfering with the nature, intentionally or otherwise. It's hard enough to survive in the harsh environment of the ocean without humans disrupting daily cycles and adding unnatural stresses. In the past few years, there's been a proliferation of kayakers and more recently paddleboarders in Monterey Bay, and not all of them know how to, or care to, avoid the animals that are trying to rest. Several times a day now, we seem to see kayaks or paddleboarders ride right into the kelp with sleeping otters, get so close to the animals that they wake up, dive, and flee for their safety. We've also seen many go into restricted coves and even land on no-access beaches and scare away colonies of harbor seals trying to sleep there. While such intruders may not see animals die in front of them, they are contributing to shorten lives just as surely as if they slash them with knives. You can see the animals and share their ocean home without disturbing them if you keep your distance. Their fragile lives literally depend on you to respect their space. There are recommended distances at least 100 feet or 10 kayak lengths to avoid disturbing marine mammals. If you can't respect the wildlife or handle your ocean-going equipment, then please stay off the water and watch safely from the shoreline.